What's up everybody? James Jernigan here from James Jernigan SEO and Digital Marketing, formerly known as Baltimore City SEO if you've seen some of my older content. So that older content is what brings me here today to this review of William Jones SEO, also known as Rank Fortress Digital Agency or Rank Fortress Academy depending on what website you're looking at. Either way, this review is for William Jones SEO on YouTube, he's known as Google My Business SEO. He's got different names all over the place, but anyways, that's who we're talking about today, William Jones SEO. So in my previous content, um, I've not only been interviewed on this guy's channel, but then I even recommended that my followers check him out and uh, check out his services. So I feel I owe you guys an update to let you know what's been going on between William Jones and myself, James Jernigan SEO. So to rewind so you can get the whole story, I want to take you back to when I met Mr. William Jones. William Jones reached out to me, he had seen one of my YouTube videos, and he contacted me and said he was starting a channel about SEO and asked if I would come be interviewed on his channel and talk about YouTube SEO. I said, great, um, you know, that's what it's all about, networking, um, building each other's audiences up, cool. So I posted on Facebook that I was going to be speaking in his group and a lot of people reached out to me and warned me, specifically people from a guy named Tim Kalert's group. Um, he has a Google My Business group on Facebook. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyways, Tim, uh, big shout out to your followers for letting me know about this guy. But anyways, a lot of people warned me and said, hey, watch out. This guy, William Jones, copied Tim Kalert's entire Google My Business ebook word for word and they sent me the screenshots. And um, when I saw it, it looked pretty damning. It looked exactly word for word like Tim's book. But I'm the kind of guy who gives everybody a fair chance. Uh, I don't like to judge a book by its cover. So I went ahead and went on his channel anyways, just keeping in mind what people had told me about him plagiarizing and copying. So a few weeks, maybe a month went by, and he asked me to come back on his channel, this time to talk about CTR manipulation, because I had recently released um, not only YouTube videos about CTR manipulation, but actually a mini course, a 25 minute little mini course on what I've been doing with CTR manipulation. Anyways, um, he asked me to come back on his channel and talk about it, and I did so happily. And then um, something weird happened. Uh, a couple weeks after I was on his channel talking about CTR manipulation, I noticed that he launched a course about CTR manipulation as well. Now, at face value, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with uh, two people having a course about the same thing, right? But um, then I took a look at the video he was using to promote uh, his CTR manipulation stuff, and it was plagiarized word for word from my video description of my video, which was ranking number one on YouTube at the time. So what William Jones did was literally plagiarize my entire YouTube description and put it in his YouTube video description to rank his CTR video, which again, uh, plagiarism aside, it's fine that he created a video, but then to plagiarize my content is a little weird. So I called him out on it. I commented right on the video while he was live and says, looks like you're copying and pasting again. Remember, people warned me that he did this by copying Tim Kalert's ebook. Um, but I was going to wait until something happened to me. So now I saw the proof and I commented. So of course, William deleted my content rather than respond and explain why he had plagiarized my video description. He just deleted the con the comment. So I screenshotted, uh, he, he then messaged me and said that he didn't copy my content, um, that it was changed, but I sent him the screenshot, which is again, posted online publicly. So you can see it for yourself. Um, and instead of apologizing or deleting it, he he just lied to me and said that he didn't copy it, even though I could see that he clearly did. So I screenshotted that conversation and I posted it publicly um, on my website. First, you'll find the screenshot of the identical uh, video descriptions. Then you'll find the screenshot of him telling me that he didn't do it, even though you can see clear as day. So that's weird. That's when I decided I better stop associating with this guy. Um, I talk about black hat SEO a lot. And uh, I think most of you guys understand that black hat SEO means um, simply not following Google's terms of use. Google does a lot of messed up stuff as a corporation, so um, I take their terms of use with a grain of salt. Black Hat SEO does not or should not refer to ethics. Um, and obviously plagiarizing someone's content is totally unethical, not to mention illegal. So <clears throat> as soon as I uh, had proof that this guy was not only acting unethically, but illegally by plagiarizing not only my content, but uh, as far as I could tell, Tim Kalert's content as well, that's when I was like, I'm not gonna associate with this guy anymore. So um, shortly after that, 
I discovered a website with my name and brand, jamesjernigan.seo.com. Now, mind you, I've never bought this domain. I don't own jamesjernigan.seo.com. So uh, when I clicked on the website, it turns out it was an identical clone of my website, baltimorecityseo.com, which is still live. By the way, I don't work with clients anymore. Um, I do affiliate SEO. So I just leave these sites live to generate traffic, but I don't actually have clients. So um, <clears throat> it's kind of weird to clone my business and pretend to be me when I'm not even taking clients. But anyways, that's what this guy did. And I say this guy because um, you can look up who is data. And even though a lot of people hide it, you can find things like um, where the website is hosted and things like that. So it turns out that this website, jamesjernigan.seo.com, the clone of my business website, was hosted on the same custom name servers as Rank Fortress Academy. So that's unusual, right? Because generally the only people who have access to custom name servers are the people who own and create them. So um, for this cloned replica illegal website to be hosted on the same name servers as Rank Fortress Digital Academy was very strange. So um, I did send William an email about this asking why he had cloned my website and what his plans for it were. Of course he ignored me. So the next step I did was file a DMCA takedown request. So that's something you can do when someone's illegally using your, your content when they're pirating or plagiarizing you is uh, you can file a DMCA request which is with the uh, website hosting and basically they'll tell them that they have to take it down or it will be deleted. So obviously, needless to say, the website was zapped, it was gone, and uh, what did William do? Well, he recreated it the very next day with a screenshot of another marketer who doesn't want to be named, and I won't name him, but another marketer and I were joking around and William took this uh, screenshot of this guy out of context and remade this uh, fake spammy website, this time trying to use this fake screenshot as evidence that uh, I guess he was trying to say I was scamming people or something. Anyway, so then this guy filed another DMCA takedown request, got the website taken down a second time, two days in a row. So last I checked, the website's still down. I'm not sure whether he's going to re-upload more uh, deceptive um, content, you know, that is uh, trying to slander <clears throat> my name or whatever it is. But anyways, that's what's going on. So if you're wondering why, uh, why I've been posting videos that say watch out for William Jones, why I've been posting videos called uh, William Jones reviews. That's why I just want to let you guys know my experience with it. I was warned about this stuff. I chose to ignore the warning and uh, reach out and try and work with this guy. Anyways, that's what it got. It got me my, my YouTube descriptions copied. It got me <clears throat> my entire business website copied. And uh, if you take a look at all the videos being uploaded to his channel and the titles, um, and you compare them with the titles on my videos and uh, some other big SEO channels, You'll notice a theme with this guy and uh, with plagiarism and with copying. So anyways, that's my review of William Jones SEO. If you want to do business with somebody who openly and flagrantly plagiarizes and doesn't care that he gets called out about it, then by all means, uh, hit up William Jones over at the Rank Fortress. And if you are seeing this video for the first time, if this is the first time you have ever heard of any of this stuff, I want to invite you to reach out to some of the bigger name SEO people that William has interviewed on his channel in the past and ask them if they still associate with this guy, right? I'm not going to put anyone's names out there. Um, I just want you guys to do your own research about this fella. Another place you could check is Black Hat World. There's a post that someone named Bill Jones scammed somebody on Black Hat World. So if Black Hat World is calling you a scammer, uh, you know, uh, what do they say? If the shoe fits. So I don't know. I don't know what this guy's up to. All I know is that, uh, I found a copy of my business website hosted on the same custom name servers as his website, uh, as well as fake posts on both Twitter and Reddit, using my name, pretending to be me and my brand, um, with weirdly posts about Rank Fortress on the same accounts. So that's all linked down below. I will link it right down below this video. You could see all the evidence. You could see the YouTube descriptions copied. You could see a copy of my website. You could see the name servers that it was hosted on. So. Um, like I said, it's all there. Um, <laughs> it, it would be a hell of a reach for me to go Photoshop and uh, 
deep fake all of this stuff so if you think that's what's going on then i can't help you but uh if you're a human being and you have eyes like i do and uh you can identify plagiarism then uh check it out it's linked down below and uh Go ask him about it. Ask him why he copied my website. He still doesn't let me know. I made an email about it. I figured maybe he'd make a video either apologizing or at the very least, uh, you know, citing some kind of weird loophole where ethically it's okay to him to just downright steal people's stuff. I don't know. Um, you guys ask him. Apparently he doesn't want to uh, tell me, so maybe he'll tell one of you. Anyways, I hope you guys appreciated this William Jones SEO review, my review of Rank Fortress Digital Agency, Rank Fortress Academy, whatever you want to call it. From here on out, I'm going to refer to them as the Prank Fortress because that seems to be what they're all about, just doing SEO pranks. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hate to do bad reviews. Um, really, unless you just outright scam me, I, I'd never even leave bad reviews. So uh, for me to go to this extent, I'm hoping you guys can realize the seriousness of this warning and uh, take it for what it's worth. Anyways, I'm done ranting. Peace out, everybody. And uh, I'll see you on the front page of Google.